Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303 from weartesters.com. We got some really nice official images of the upcoming Adidas Dame 5. Crazy to think that they are on their fifth model already. And while this shoe has been leaked for quite some time now, both from leaked images and leaked like catalog scans, these are the best images that we've seen of the shoe. So I just wanted to give you my thoughts and then we can take a look at your guys' thoughts and go over our overall first impression. So with that being said, let's go ahead, get right into it. So aesthetically speaking, I think that the shoe looks kind of weird they look almost like a chukka and a chukka is kind of like a casual almost skater like or kind of like sneaker boot like look and out of the three colorways that we can see right here I'm not really feeling any of them as far as aesthetics overall something I find interesting though is that the overall kind of like look or design language of Adidas's current basketball shoes they're all pretty different which is a little bit of a stretch compared to what we saw the past few years where everything looked very similar now the one piece that is on the shoe that you can actually like see across the other other models, most notably the Harden shoe, the Harden Volume 3, is this TPU little support wing right there. They have it on the midfoot for the Dames, but on the Hardens it was right on the forefoot area, mostly for lateral containment and stability because of the cushion option that they used. The Harden Volume 3 obviously uses full length boost, and while the midsole on this guy right here doesn't actually state anything, which is again kind of weird, I do believe it's going to be full length bounce, which is what they've been going with since the Dame 2. The midsole itself looks interesting, the design is interesting, the colors that they're using is interesting as well you can tell that they're definitely playing with some things and then it looks like you sit within the midsole just enough right here in the forefoot as well as in the heel and then that TPU midfoot plate is there for extra containment which should be really awesome I do wonder how it feels though I wonder if it's gonna be rubbery or if it's gonna be like a hard plastic it'll be interesting to see in hand and on foot the materials I don't find to be very impressive the forefoot mesh area I do like and I have liked it on other models as well so I don't think that that's gonna be a real issue however I don't like like that synthetic you know suede or whatever it is on the rear panel it reminds me of what they've been doing with the Kobe AD series and I don't know I just don't really like it if I will say though with the Kobe AD series at least like there's a reason to kind of be irritated because those shoes retail for a lot more than what the dames do not for a lot more but for anywhere between 30 to 40 dollars more and that does actually make a difference so if these are gonna be 110 uh, like the past couple of models and I'm not gonna be like greatly disappointed or anything because that's just what they do the dame is is known to be like like a budget model, but still a signature sneaker. I just don't personally like the material. I would have liked to have seen maybe a synthetic leather used or full on knit, full on mesh, whatever it might be. However, we have seen the Dame line go through many material option changes as well as all of the Adidas shoes. So I'm expecting to see more than just these materials used on future colorways. The collar, I'm not a fan of. It doesn't look to be like functional as far as compression goes either. It's just ribbed. It reminds me of corduroy pants and I don't like the way that it looks. I just think it looks kind of strange. One area of the shoe that I am kind of concerned about is the internal arch area right there at the midfoot. The way that the midsole actually extends up past the arch has my feet at least being like kind of like I don't know about this guys because I don't know about you but my feet have tons of scars all over them especially in that area because my feet sweat a lot and when I'm moving in the sneakers and everything those areas tend to chafe and stuff so if that area is going to do what it looks like it could do I'm hoping that it doesn't but if it does that would suck and again I've had that that sh happen with multiple sneakers from the Curry's to the Kobe's to what was the most recent one that did it to me was it the Jordan oh yeah yeah the Jordan 33 so I mean I've had this issue with every brand and stuff like that so when I see that my initial thought or reaction is kind of like ah oh, here we go again now the traction on these things looks awesome like that's obviously the best part about the sneaker they didn't do anything special to them I wish that this traction was on the of volume 3 as well because that I won't get into completely but that's one thing that like could use a little bit more consistency within that model and I think that this is the way to do it where the herringbone is widely spaced apart. I had said in my initial look video on the Harden Volume 3 that that was the only thing that kind of like looked off to me is that while they did use herringbone which is awesome it's very close together so if there is dust it's going to cake up on there cause you some slipping which it does spoiler alert. So I think this implementation of herringbone is just going to hold a lot better both indoors and it looks like it's going to be a lot more durable outdoors unless the rubber is soft which is something you just can't see from images. So overall I think that they're going to be a good shoe. First thought they look like a casual sneaker like they just don't look like a basketball shoe to me so it will be interesting to see exactly how they perform and how they feel how the material contains your foot and so on and so forth and I do think that it's kind of interesting that this is the first in the Dame line that is a higher cut because all of them from the one onto the four have been kind of like low to mids so with that being said we're gonna head over to wear testers Instagram page we're gonna go through the comment section and kind of see what you guys are thinking about the Dame
Dame 5. CC Cladera says, they don't necessarily look aesthetically pleasing, but I like how the build is similar to the Ford. Oh, and Herringbone looks aggressive on the outsole. Completely agree. Actually just talked about all of that stuff, but you summed it up very quickly in like two sentences. So that was awesome. But yeah, I definitely agree. I think that the shoe just looks funny. It, that's the only thing I can say. It doesn't look like a basketball shoe, but maybe that's a good thing because a lot of people want their basketball shoes to translate both on and off courts, which something Puma actually just did with their, what do they call it? The, the, Clyde yeah, the Clyde Court Disrupt. So I'm interested to know, do you guys find those two shoes to be similar where they kind of look like you can pull one off both on and off court? Or do you think that the Dames are just on a different level of ugly? I don't know. Let me know. Hoffman Chow says, don't know how this is possible, but they look really cheap and like really awesome performer. It, that's the best way that like, cause like the material is like, I'm just like, I don't know about these. Like the mesh is basic, but it works normally, especially with the way that Adidas implements it most of the time. So I can't, you know, be mad at that. The back section of the materials just doesn't look good. It looks noticeably cheap. It looks like that felt stuff that we see on the Kobe ADs and stuff like that. Bright side, like I was saying, is that it's most likely going to be priced way less, but they don't look like the Dames have been looking like. The Dame 2s were awesome, man. Like those were 105. They introduced that Jacquard. Do you remember that? The really tight knit. Okay. Um, and they had like the overlay panels with the, the leathers and the synthetics and stuff like that with that TPU heel counter. It was a really dope shoe. Like it looked cool. It performed really well. And the price was right. Like everything was going for that sneaker. Then the Dame 3 came out and that thing was really jarring. It's puffy. It almost looked like a bloated Yeezy 350 V2, which I mean, those already look bloated by themselves. Had the napkin on the side. You know, it was, it was different. Um, and then the Dame 4 comes out and the Dame 4 like really streamlines everything. And, and to me, the Dame 4 really kind of took what they were doing in the 2 and the 3 and they really went with it to kind of, uh, what would you call it, evolve it into like like something like really clean. Just like what we've been seeing with the Kyrie line. It looks like it's it's a streamlined kind of like combination with the design language of the past two models, which I really do like. This model just seems like a complete departure. So visually, again, like I'm totally right there with you. The thing though is, is that like you said, it looks like they're going to be awesome. So I mean, I don't know. Like we're, we're just going to have to wait and see. For all I know, everything could be so cheap that it rips on you or maybe there's like zero containment in the upper and stuff like that. You never know. We'll have to wait and see. That's that's what my issue was with the D Rose 9 for anybody curious. The upper that pleated whatever the f it is, like it's some kind of weird like micro molded mesh and stuff, but they pleated it and like it that sh sucks, man. Like it just didn't work. It was so cheap and didn't contain your foot that there was a lot of shifting in the shoe and stuff like that. And I just wasn't feeling it. The bounce was awesome though. The traction was like a real big hit or miss and stuff, but I think that was because the pattern was very tight, just like it is on the Harden Volume 3. This doesn't seem like it's gonna have that same issue with that really widely spaced aggressive herringbone. So, you know, you never know, but that's just kind of like my same thoughts is they look kind of cheap, but they also look like they could be like a surprise hit. Raymond Margallo says, if that stitching in the middle of the shoe has no stretch, it's going to be painful for white footers. I disagree because it doesn't go all the way across on top of the foot like it did in the Dame 3s. You remember that? Cause that even f***ed me up for a little bit. Like I had to like really break those in, but that was with a one piece booty. This is not a one piece booty. This looks like they have a completely separate tongue. That's kind of like a three fourth sleeve within the shoe. And then the stitching is just keeping those two panels locked together. So it's not going around your foot. It's just kind of on the sides of your feet. So I don't think it's going to be an issue. DJ 1897 says Adidas knows their colorways, but not the models. Huh? What does that mean? I think like he digs the color combos on all of them. But he thinks the shoe's ugly? Yeah. Oh, mm, maybe. But at the same time, like colorways can make or break a shoe. And I don't, I, honestly, I don't think that any of these colors look good. And normally if you get like a blackout shoe, like this one right here, this black and red with the, the, the midsole looks sick. But normally when you black out a sneaker, it tames the weirdness down and it still doesn't. Like it just looks weird. They look like galoshes to me. What the f is a galosh? That sounds like a dessert. It's like a short rain boot. Mm -hmm. So it just looks like something. Like a chukka. Oh, oh, I didn't know what a chukka was when you were talking about it. They look like, hey mom, I gotta go to school. I need my galosh. <laughs> That's <laughs> what's up. Surprisingly enough, so I like the mustardy ones the most. Yellow is a weird thing because I, I usually fucking hate yellow, but I've been like warming up to it lately. And like the more that I see it, I think it's that the brainwashing. I'm susceptible to it just like anybody else. The more that you see something, the more you get used to it. So like this color that's like popping all of a sudden is yellow. I do 
like it, but I like the mint look too. The thing is, like like this kid was saying, I agree that the colors are, are clean, but the shoe, there are some shoes that colorways can't save. <laughs> this might be one of them. They're doing some different shit, like we'll give them that. Between this and the, the Hardened Volume 3, they're, they're definitely toning the looks down a little bit compared to the past couple years, but they're also, I don't know if you would say toning it down too much. It's almost like there's no real design here. There's two materials spliced together, and then there's a panel glued to the side of it for support. Like, it's like literally like a, this will work. Like at least like if we're gonna compare material wise, what this shoe reminds me of most is that Exodus, the Kobe AD, right? It's got the same materials kind of in the back and then it's got that mesh in the front. But the thing that they did in the Kobe ADs was that they added layers to it. They added the overlay graphics, yeah. being the swoosh and the little Mamba logo, the, the Shizoku logo on the inside. This they also, yeah, and they also added the forefoot band that gives the, the shoe a little bit of depth. The midsole is very much like sculpted and, and smoothed out in a way to where like it holds color well, whereas this looks like it threw color up onto it. Similar elements, but you could see where the similarities were executed in completely like two different ways. One kind of like, to me at least, the Exodus looks appealing. The Dame does not. I don't know. I just don't think that these are it. Like, what's that meme? This ain't it, chief. That's what, the, that's what these are right here. These are the Adidas. This ain't it, Chief. So that pretty much takes care of it for my thoughts, as well as some of your guys' thoughts, and then my thoughts on your thoughts. Hopefully you, you like that stuff. You got some of Mrs. Wing thoughts in there as well. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your support. Be sure to leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. What is it about this shoe that you love? What is it about it that you hate? What are you expecting the price point to be? I cannot remember if I've even seen the price. They've gone from 105 up to 115. What do you think these guys are retailing at? If they've already like unveiled the price somewhere, then let me know what it is. I don't know when these release actually. That's the one thing is that they weren't officially unveiled. They were just these official images released. So that's what we're talking about. Although I do expect them to release sometime in the December, kind of January time frame because that's usually when they release. So hopefully they're still around 115. Honestly, just by looking at them, I hope that they're less. I hope they drop that price back down to 105 because I would not want to pay more than that for this shoe the way that it looks right now with its materials and all that stuff. But let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you like the video. And until next time, guys. Have a good one.